Welcome to our channel and subscribers. Thank you for coming back and supporting our channel and being a part of our YouTube family. If you are new here, please comment below and let me know that you are here and introduce yourself. And we are going to get started on these lemonade braids. And I'm starting off sectioning the back nape part of her hair to get that first section started and parted nicely and sectioned off. The first section, I use the top of the ear and go straight across. And then the second section, I use behind the ear to go straight across, like if I was doing half up, half down. And then the top part is where I put the I would say it's like a curved part just so I can figure out where I'm going to start having the hair to come down on the right side where it will be hanging. So I use her eyebrow in the front as a guide to make that side part, but I don't make it straight. I curve it instead so that it can have the swoop effect for the lemonade braids. I'm sectioning off this first section into smaller sections so that I know how many parts I need for each cornrow and it helps the cornrowing process to go faster. I do apply some of the Shine um, Honey Gel to the edges and the back just only for the neat braid. <music> And when I start parting for the second section, this is when you start to get to the side of the hair. So you have to include that in your part as well so that your lemonade braids have a nice clean parts and it's very sleek when it wraps around the head.
The second section is now done and I decided to do a heart on the side. I really should have put the heart on the opposite side of her head, but I didn't think about it until I got to the last section. And this is how I do a heart cornrow. The style is complete and we decided to add some white beads and these are the final results. Thank you so much for watching and please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!